didn't even realize how bad it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really bad, Poppy. You need to yeah, like. You need to calm down. Is there aloe? On dun dun. <laughs> Yosemite Park, National Park, was huge. It was just gigantic. I, I've never been to Yos Yosemite. I've been to a lot of national parks, but never made it to that one. And didn't really know what to expect, but it was so much more awe-inspiring than I had dared to hope. Wow. Don't I look wow. Well, wow. Pretty good. We saw this um, rock called El Capitan. Hugest rock I've ever seen. I just. It, yes, the name is perfect for it. Captain, that's fine. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned before how I love nature and things nature does. And so El Capitan was really nice. You're pretty tall. Yeah. Um... Psych. That's my big brother. <laughs> Getting there was insane because our bus doesn't like going up hills and doesn't like going down hills pretty equally. Um, going up hills sort of more obviously, but going down hills, you have to be really you had to be really careful because uh, the brakes would smoke and smell terrible. The drive was ridiculous. Uh, so many swerves. It was worse than the one that we went down to like um, the Pacific Ocean, and it was just worms and then hills and then going up and we had to like go to the next it was, uh, it was bad kind of had to rush through the park didn't really get to see wildlife there was a plague warning uh post tacked up like uh on one of the bathrooms um that was just like stay away from these kinds of animals don't touch them don't be coughed upon by a cat <laughs> so maybe it's good we didn't see wildlife who knows so we were leaving Yosemite and there was fire trucks going the opposite way I had after seeing the fire trucks pass us I went on my phone to see if like there was any fires going on and there was one right exactly where we were in Yosemite and we're just like oh shit <laughs> like wow Fun zone. Fire zone. Fun zone. Fire zone. Fun zone. Fresno was set to be over 110 degrees. It was so hot. I remember this was the beginning of the hell. In Fresno, we stayed at a hotel and it was super hot outside and we decided, you know what? Tonight, we're gonna make some shirts. So Albert and I just spent the whole night making t-shirts. <laughs> we were going to do it in the morning. Um, and then kind of got started and we're like, we can just bust them all out now. So we went to Ventura the next day. They tell me I need to say it like Ventura. So I'm going to say it like Ventura. Even though my mind really wants to say Ventura. I'm not going to do that. So when we first got there, we had been excited about this campsite since before we left because it was on the beach. When we drove up, you just see a bunch of RVs right by the beach. We pulled up and the guy said, hey, you have a reservation? I said, yes, we do. And he said, great, do you have a bathroom? I said, no, we don't. And he said, then you can't be here. <laughs> and we're like, what? And he's like, you'll have to go all the way up the road. <laughs> and we're like, but this is the, he's like, nope, you need to have a bathroom to be here. And I'm like, what? We have a bucket. <laughs> he didn't think that was funny. Will we still have beach access from that other RV park? Because the one we wanted was literally on the beach. And that was like one of the biggest reasons we wanted it. Um, and he was like, oh, you can take a hike. You want to go to the beach. <laughs> so we go back, we go all the way back on the road, and then we end up at, like, I don't know what it is. It's the, like, 
the, the reject campground. <laughs> we arrived in the afternoon and it was hazy and foggy and kind of chilly and windy and gross. There was some horrifying cl- clouds that looked like a tsunami. Like, it was just the worst place. Like, he, the dude before was a little cheerful, but the dude at this spot was not having it. He was just like, oh yeah, he sent, uh, yeah, he sent you to me, okay. You got a bathroom? No, <laughs> that's why they told us to come here. Well, there is there is one way down there. It was like, it was not that far. You know, after dinner we packed up and then we went to the show and we drove through downtown Ventura, which was adorable. And we ended up, um, they were playing in this room in a library. So we're playing a show in a library. <laughs> I was like, this is so backwards, but I love it. Um, We met a lot of cool people there. Uh, Alex, who booked the show, was a really awesome host to us. They had some really awesome bands playing that night. Um, So it's always good when you're playing a show and there is other bands and those other bands are good. Because you're just like, yes, I'm enjoying my whole night. That's when we saw Late Bloomers and we met Izzy and the whole band was really, they reminded me so much of Go Sailor and I told Debbie that and we were just like, oh, you. It was dark, but it was still nice. And they had like lights around us, like Christmas lights or something. They did have some awesome 1920s uh, silent movies projected in the back. So I was watching that a lot. The, the amount of excitement that we got from playing was absolutely incredible. People were like dancing around. Um, I'm not sure if it was moshing, but like for the lonely years, there were some kids who were just walking by and they came in and it was like a whole group of them. And they like wanted to take pictures with us. They bought our merch, they asked us if we were on band camp and it was, it was beautiful. We hung out with all the people there and actually ended up going out with a few of them after the show too, which was awesome. And we just did it up all night, hung out the whole night long until the places shut down. (laughs) And I just can't wait to go back or have them here, whatever, (laughs) come through. So the next day we went to the beach that was supposedly a mile away. It really wasn't that far, it wasn't a big deal. We did have to like go through a fence and cross some train tracks, um, but it wasn't super far. First time we really we got to go to the Pacific Ocean and actually go touch it or be, you know, not on a road looking at it from afar. Poppy had left early. She went to the beach and I think she wants to go hang out with her aunt. My aunt, who lives in LA, came out to meet us at the campground and um, she and I went and hiked all around the um, shoreline and down on the in the rocks and we ended up going swimming in the water and then she took us back to her place in the Hollywood Hills where we had lunch. Where are we going right now? We're going to Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in Hollywood but we're going to see the sign. Word. <laughs> Did he go on many safaris? Yes. He shot movies in Africa. Oh. That would that would do it. I was kidding. I was kidding. 
This is his safari hat, right? He got off that one of the set trucks. Um, yeah. <laughs> what are your thoughts on uh, what just happened? <laughs> When we left Lee, we went to mm, like the Hollywood area of LA. We decided we'd be a little touristy and check out the, the boulevard. Okay, this is your tourist stop. I'm a tourist. Wow. Yo, be a tourist. <laughs> wow! Pee Wee King! Roy Rogers, yo! Oh shit. Yo, get a burger over here. Tourists. Wow. Get the sh get all the shots with the name. Wait, oh. get the name. Put your face on it. <laughs> on your face, James. Wow. This is my favorite Taylor Swift song. Roy Rogers again. He gets sued. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse was really keen on finding Roy Orbison's uh, star, sidewalk star. Me and Debbie were like looking, we kept walking up, and then we had to cross the street and walk down, which we finally found it. Does, am I pointing? Um, am I blocking the sun, so I can't see. Should I go on the there, other there, side? There, you can lift your head, lift your head again. There. Uh, lift it a little more. You're gonna look stupid, but... <laughs> Boy, your business. You don't think that's gonna work if you just do that? I'm just gonna go Let's in go. right now and say, give me 50 million, right? right? Yeah. Or I'm oh, quit. Oh, yeah. beep. We tore it up pretty hard. Oh yeah. Not gonna lie. This oh, dude glass. that looked like Rick Ross was looking at me like. That was Rick Ross. I know. <laughs> I, did, I, I saw him and I was like, yeah, what up, Rick? And he's like, boss. <laughs> yeah, I heard him go, whoop. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> Pretty sure I saw Rick Ross drive by while I was acting a fool, and he was in his Beamer, and he laughed at me like I was a fool. And I was like, what else do I need in life? I'm gonna scream out the window, what up, I'm famous! <laughs> oh my god, there is the thing yeah. I hate. What? Something combos New York pizzeria. Uh, why? That it ain't new stop new playing yourself. It ain't right. It ain't right. <laughs> that pizza's fake. <laughs> it's not New York. Yeah. That pizza's Juicy fake. Ring. Stop playing. <laughs> yeah, so you gonna scream out the window or what? Woo! I'm famous! <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again in another couple of months. If you say it and you believe it, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> dream it, wish it, be it. <laughs> oh, it's a souvenir, right there. Oh, there's gonna be so many. Oh my God, wall drug. Like Canal Street. Yo, away? calm down, I don't even know what that means. And he says, a gift shop every two stores. All right, cool. You never been to Canal. I do have Not a place really, to no. stop right here. So. Ooh, place to stop. Place to stop. Oh God, so close. Place to cop. Place to cop. All right, <laughs> get your postcards. Which one are we going? You're not coming? The guy in the gift shop was just chilling with us and talking. He was asking us, you know, where we were going next. And we told him that we were going to Idlewild. And he was like, you going to the mountains to do nothing with nobody? And we were like, yeah, kind of. It was very reminiscent of telling people that we were gonna go to the Upper Peninsula. We had to drive up a really tall mountain. Uh, luckily our bus was able to make it. It was a very slow ride. Jesse was driving, I remember that. It had really nice rocks. We were only able to see it because of the car, obviously, because it was late, it was dark. And we were only able to see because of the car's uh, lights, but. It would have been nice to see more of that drive on in the morning or during the day. <laughs> God, I can't believe we're still in California. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. This has been a really great experience, kind of. <laughs> but we're in Hollywood. Hollywood. 
I'm very excited to be here. I'm so relieved. But yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, yeah, I hope to keep watching. 